I come from Brazil, from Universidad Estadual Paulista, UNESPI. My name is Cristian Berrio Zapata. And I'd like to share with you uh, my insights about the ATADA project, which is a course which was developed by my tutor there, uh, Ricardo Santana, as an awakening space for post-graduation students in information science. If you search for the Portuguese term, transparencia, or datos abertos, it shows an altimetric demand. The red is one, the blue is the other. So uh, it means that still in Portuguese, people that consume that uh, word are not well aware of the relation. In English, you will see that it's less um, different than the, both curves. But still, in the map, you will see that there's a huge concentration of the users of the term in the south of the country, in the industrialized uh, states. We get from this that although Brazil follows the international tendency on e-government, still citizens are unclear about transparency and openness to knowledge. And knowledge is concentrated by experts in these areas. So, on the other side, we believe that government action seems to be based on these two uh, logics. But from our point of view, we believe that we need to create a self-sustainable routines that empower the population with autonomous capacities for a critical self-evaluated power negotiated construction of information systems. With this scenario, we, got, uh, we, we think that technology will not itself solve the problem. We need to prepare and empower the user to claim for their own international interest. This would be the three areas of work we concentrated in the first two. So we got insights from information and social science that talked to us about uh, how to explain the situation. The four main conclusions are that all information exchanges have transaction costs, and that opportunism and bad information will tend to maintain asymmetries protected. Second, all information systems must consider the minimum effort economies of the user. Third, we are sense-making seekers that hate dissonance. We accept stable, although non-accurate representations of the world. And fourth, historic idiosyncratic characteristic will difficult to facilitate openness and transparency. That last remark has huge importance for us Latin American as we have a past of a military government. There you will see a chart which shows you how many military governments we have had in the previous 100 years. Uh, I could not resist to put this into the presentation, which means that the, what happened is not yet solved. So some other insights on my research say that in these microstructures of digital information, there's a game of power and control. But this is not a kind of conspiracy game. It's a genuine instrument. But remember, we all think we have the truth. A solution for this game is an open negotiation. But we need to break the myths. We need to break the discourse, which is into the digital and information power. On this regard, we see that there's a mismatch between what the governments do for transparency and for openness and what science knows about information behavior. With this background, the ATADA, which is the acronym of the course, the ATADA project was born to question the myth around information power and to show that all data visualization includes an agenda. The project tried to answer one critical question for e-literacy, which is this. In this context, how we can form people to understand what we are dealing with when talking about information power. So, in the ATADA, we concentrated in the two highest levels of e-literacy and deconstructed the data visualization. The first one, which is the ability to read and write is a general problem of the most basic formation in all Latin America that is out of our reach. So the course had three phases. The first one, which was a questioning about data visuals 
and try to guide to uh, know that there's a stakeholder's interest into those, those visuals and that data visuals have connotations. A second phase that works with physical objects, that was go out, visit any kind of public project in your own city in Brazil, take photographs, contrast the information of the physical with the information of the digital, official or not, take note about the processes, come back and share with us your findings. The third phase was the most important because we all that were particip participating, we feel like fools because we were enabled to capture relevant information. But when we began to share, to comment, we saw that we all were in the same situation. It was the system, it was not us. That I called data opacity. Here, there's an example of my own research in a small city called Veracruz. And if you see, it was checking uh, the investment in a small stadium. In the first part, I tried to obtain information, but all was in PDF and JPG, so it was impossible to work. In the second one, I have to go and come thousands, thousands of times, and there was an endless loop on that, so I, I gave up. So this Atada course gives us several uh, lessons about citizens formation in illiteracy. First, data openness and transparency must be taught with significant objects. If there's no pain, there's no gain. Second, the studied objects must be related to the day-to-day -day life. They must be relevant and they must be questionable. Third, the process is individual, although could be in, uh, collectively support. Fourth, as we hate cognitive dissonance, we need to contest the sense to explain why criticize the accepted statu quo and, vi uh, and visual why we should must be critical. The process is uncomfortable, so we must have good reasons to be on it. Five, or number or fifth, the awakening is in the process, is not in the arrival. And six, to work for transparency and open data, we do not need everyone. We need key men, and they are usually found at our universities. Finally, for the state of transparency in Brazil, we can say that it's data opacity. It's a kind of information that you can see but you cannot touch, like a mosquito in through and in case in amber. So the myth is a way to encase and to maintain that feeling that you can have information. Many thanks.